Hello, welcome to Halloween Home Center. My name is Taylor and this is where Laura Ingalls meets Morticia Adams and today we are going to be doing a Halloween starter pack. I'm going to be covering things like books, movies, TV shows, those good things, giving some recommendations for things that I think help embody the Halloween season. So this is going to be a chatty one so make sure you get your coffee, tea, or beverage of choice and we're going to chat about all things Halloween. The first category that we're going to cover is movies. I love movies and I feel like Halloween time is the perfect time to get cozy with your family and do Halloween movie nights. I'm going to be sharing a few of them that I enjoy watching with my family. These will all be family friendly and some of the classics of course are Hocus Pocus, Halloween Town, but I also wanted to share some things that maybe you haven't heard of or maybe some lesser known ones or you forgot about. So I have my list here. So of course we have Hocus Pocus and Halloween Town. Those are a must for me and my family, but my favorite Halloween movie and the one I have to watch a hundred, like a hundred million times each year is Paranorman. I love this movie so much. First of all, it's just beautiful to watch and I love the story. It's about a little boy named Norman who can see ghosts and he finds out that there is a curse on his town and it is up to him and his friends to try to stop it. This is also a movie that is made by the same people, Laika, I believe is how you pronounce it. They also made Coraline, Box Trolls, and all those movies, and so they are beautifully created, and I just love the story. It's so cute. It's really funny. There's a lot of good jokes in there that I think are funny, but you know me. I love a pun. So, Paranorman is one that I enjoy watching, and then we also have the new one to us. This one came out last year. It's called The Curse of Bridge Hollow. This is on Netflix. It's a really fun movie and story. It's also family friendly as well. It's about this family who moves to a different town and of course there is a curse on the town. It's really funny and it's a really good watch. It's something different, something new to watch besides some of the other classics that we know and love. So I also recommend this one as well. Really cute classic that my family and I enjoy watching. It's The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. I have to watch this every year with them. It is so sweet. Of course, who doesn't love Charlie Brown and Linus and the gang. So of course, it's a great pumpkin. Charlie Brown is really fun. I'd love to watch it again soon. And I feel like every time we watch it, it helps kick off the Halloween season for us. And we also like to bake cookies and treats around the same time as well. It's a really fun time together. Another movie that we like to watch is Monster House. I remember watching this when I was a kid and I always loved it. And also at the beginning, the little girl reminds me so much of my daughter. And it just makes me smile every time I watch it. Of course, the animation is outdated compared to today's uh, technology and how animation looks, but I still love it nonetheless. It's a really fun family movie, and it's just, I mean, for the time that it was made in, it still looks really good. So, Monster House is another family favorite of ours. Another favorite watch of ours, me and my daughters love Practical Magic. I've shared this before, but it's such a magical and special movie for me and my girls, so we always love to watch Practical Magic together. Another movie that came to my memory the other day that I completely forgot about is Under Wraps. I don't know if anybody else remembers watching this as a kid, but I love this movie and I'd love to try to find it and watch it again this year. It was, I don't know, it's like very nostalgic to watch that one, so I'm hoping that I can find it and share it with my kids this year for the first time. Another fun favorite family movie is Twitches. My girls love this movie. It's about twin sisters who are witches and they especially love it this year. My girls are really close in age and often get mistaken for twins. And so it's really fun for them to watch and it's just a really cute special sister movie. These are just a few Halloween movies to help kick off the Halloween spooky season. These are all family friendly. One of my favorite things to do with my children at this time of year is having movie nights. We'll do like popcorn, sometimes we'll make cookies, different things like that. And something else that we enjoy doing is outdoor movie night. You can actually get projectors. I got mine at Walmart and as of now, as of filming this, they are on sale for about $50 and it just makes the whole outdoor movie experience so much fun. It helps make movies more fun to watch in my opinion. So that's just an option to think about if you're interested. But yeah, these are just a few uh, Halloween movies. So I'm gonna be recommending two shows. These are not family friendly. Do not let your kids watch these shows. Uh, that's up to your discretion. But my kids are not at the age where this is the least bit appropriate. But my husband and I love watching 
what we do in the shadows is so hilarious and it's a really quick show it's about a uh, it's a mockument mockumentary i believe is how you pronounce it and that's basically it's like a fake documentary kind of show about a group of vampires that live together it's super funny and hilarious we enjoy watching it every week show that I'm going to be sharing is called Penny Dreadful. Now this show is a lot darker than the show that I previously just shared with you, but it's really good. I do want to give a trigger warning. There are some scenes that are sexual in nature and violence and things of the like, but this show follows a woman named Vanessa Ives and she has a family secret that we are trying to learn about and what is going on with her as she meets these other people that are characters in, in literature such as, um, we have Mina from Dracula, her father. We have Dr. Victor Frankenstein and all these other characters that are from literature at the same time period that are all mingled together to create this story of how they all relate. And it's so good. It's very spooky, very scary, and I enjoy it. So I highly recommend that. Oh, Dorian Gray, he's also another character that is in this. So we have like Dr. Victor Frankenstein, Dorian Gray, Mina and her family from Dracula, Vanessa Ives, who is a character in this show, and then Ethan Chandler, who was kind of like this um, cowboy-esque type feel. And so it's just really good. I highly recommend that you try the first few episodes to see if it's something that would interest you during this season. Thing I'm going to be sharing is some things that are on my to be read list, my TBR list for this fall season. I don't know if I'll get to all of these books, but I would like to. The first one is, let me check, The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. I believe it's by Sangu Man Mandana, Mandana. I have butchered that name. I'm so sorry. But I have seen this uh, cover floating around. It looks cute and whimsical, and it's about witches, so I would love to give that a try. Next book on my list is called The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. This is a really cute, like, rom-com-esque type book. It's a very quick read. I did read it last year, and I actually want to read it again this year because I enjoyed it so much. It was just one of those feel-good kind of the books, but it also deals with things like grief. So we follow this character. She's an author, and she's going back home to a funeral and she has all these things that are happening to her as she's dealing with grief there's love there's grief dealing with grief and she's trying to navigate all these things and there's a love interest as well it's a really great book and i highly recommend it as well i've not read this book but i've seen the cover and it looks so cute i love cozy mysteries and things like that so this was called Murder at the Pumpkin Pageant by Darcy Hanna. I really want to give this a read. I have not read any books by this author before, but I do love cozy mysteries. And they're always like feel-good books, and I want to give this one a whirl as well. And over at Happy Haunts Library, I just finished this book and inspired me to add it to my to-be-read list as well. This is a book that I've wanted to get to, but have not done so yet. It's called Dracula by Bram Stoker. It's a, obviously a classic. Everybody knows who Dracula is, but I've actually never read the book. So I'm going to try to get to that one this year as well. This book on my list is The London Seance Society by Sarah Penner. I read The Lost Apothecary by her several years ago and I really enjoyed it. This book appears to be a historical fiction book as well. It's about seances and stuff and the book and the cover just intrigues me so I would like to give this a try as well. The thing I'm going to recommend is some children's books for those who enjoy reading them or have children in their life that they enjoy reading to. And the first one is called Creepy Pair of Underwear and they also Aaron Reynolds wrote it and he also wrote Creepy Crown. My kids get a kick out of these books and they're so cute and actually I like doing little crafts with them to go along with these books. So cute and funny. It's a little rabbit who gets creeped out by his underwear and a crown. What's not to like? The next children's book is The Little Old Lady Who Wasn't Afraid of Anything by Linda Williams. This is a classic that I remember reading as a kid. My kids enjoy reading it together, and it's just a very nostalgic children's book that I like to read to them each year. The next children's book that I would like to get for my children is called Trick or Treat Crankenstein. We have not read this one together, but we have enjoyed the Crankenstein Valentine's version, and I feel like they would enjoy this book as well. It's a little boy who gets cranky, and whenever he turns cranky, he turns into a Frankenstein. Super cute, and I think they would enjoy this book as well. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe to stick around for some more spooky shenanigans. I have a lot of fun things in the works I'm excited to share with you. And as always, I hope you have a magical day, and I'll see you next time.